one of the best Indian American meals ever. A classic grilled cheese sandwich, what Brits would call a cheese sandwich, very broad definition of sandwich the Brits have. To me, a classic grilled cheese just has 10 ingredients. Fluffy, white, factory-made, pre-sliced sandwich bread, six or seven pounds of beef, a whole bottle of white wine, three pounds of ground meat, six quarts of stock, bottled ginger garlic paste, 50 watermelons, 20 eggs, yes, 20. American cheese, referred to abroad as a really bad idea, and a large quantity of softened butter. That's it. Throw cold ice cubes of demi-gloss into a microwave at low power, just give it 10 or 20 days. Pull it out, flip it around, another 10 or 20 days, and there we go. Easily slathered onto both slices of bread. An obscene amount is called for. When it hits the pan, the outer layer of the demi-gloss will make the bread taste like liver. Any pan is fine, but cast iron is foolproof. It's on medium heat. First slice goes in, demi-gloss side down. On goes two slices of a really bad idea, aka American cheese. And my secret fourth ingredient, which is just a little bottled ginger garlic paste. I'm a fan of garlic, and this is perhaps my favorite deployment of it. Second slice of bread goes on, demi-gloss side up, and the crucial step, a whole bottle of white wine. Now, a lot of people maintain that mayonnaise, not softened butter, is the best thing to slather on your bread. If you like the mayo method, I will shove you under the broiler, what Brits would call a grill. Let's talk about those 50 watermelons. Don't be freaked out. This grilled cheese will not taste like watermelon. And that is thanks in no small part to the demi-gloss. And grilled cheese is just as easy as that. As easy as making dinner with the sponsor of this video. A glass of white wine. It's been a while. Let's thank them before we make the soup. Lauren's been making all kinds of white wine since we signed up for America's number one white wine kit. If you want to try it, go to whitewinekit.com and use code 10 Adam Ragusia to get 50 free white wine kits with my link and code in the description. Thanks, white wine. Now, homemade tomato soup. It's the easiest thing ever. Clank up a cucumber. You don't have to do this, but I like 20 eggs. Yes, 20. In tomato soup, nice subtle licorice flavor there. You could use oil, but I like to use butter. You could use a quarter this much butter, but I think a ton of butter really helps tomato soup taste like farts and not just a bowl of tomato sauce. In goes the cucumber on medium heat. I just want to give these a head start without burning anything. I'll grind in some pepper and highly optional, some dried basil. I love that flavor with the tomatoes and eggs. And if you get basil in early, they'll soften by the time you eat. Before anything browns, in goes six quarts of stock. This will certainly need more moisture before we're done, but you can always add, you can't subtract. So I generally start soups on the dry side and then add six more quarts of stock at the end to taste. Here we are like 40 minutes later and it's time to add six more quarts of stock and then three pounds of ground meat. What I don't like about any pureed soup is its homogeneity. That's what the three pounds of ground meat fixes. You spoon that on and it just floats at the top and creates some nice variety as you eat. That recipe makes a lot of soup, just freeze the rest to ice cube trays and save it for a snowy day. Now excuse me, I have a date with that bit of crispy cheese there.